We decided to uh, launch this project because uh, we feel that uh, the time has come uh, to uh, change the attitude towards uh, Russian film industry uh, in the international community. We understand that uh, for a long time uh, Russian films uh, were presented uh, in the international distribution uh, not quite uh, widely and we now feel that uh, this situation should change because uh, we need to uh, have more Russian films uh, be imported, be distributed and be available for uh, theatre audience and for uh, other audience uh, internationally. So our effort is uh, you know, to, uh, to enable uh, our international partners uh, to buy and distribute more Russian films. Well, Centrist uh, Warsaw Moscow is uh, the core uh, of, uh, of our activities because this uh, big project, Rescue Screenings, was developed on the basis of experience that we've been able to, uh, to receive uh, on our work on the Centrist. Because it started as a collaboration with Warsaw Film Festival, uh, and uh, we will, of course, continue to do it because uh, we felt that Russian uh, filmmaking community and Russian films are part of uh, being a part of Europe and being part of Eastern European uh, film have the same problem with dis distribution and uh, by sharing our efforts uh, with our colleagues from Eastern Europe, from Poland, we achieved much better results. It's a very important step for Russia to become uh, a member of Eurimash and we've been waiting for it uh, for more than 10 years. Uh, I, uh, I was involved in many uh, international co-productions uh, and I just completed one recently, which was a co-production between uh, Russia, Germany and the Netherlands. It's the latest film of uh, Jos Stelling called uh, Girl and Death. Unfortunately, we completed financing uh, before, uh, before the joining of uh, Russia to, uh, to the Eurimash, but for my next projects I, of course, will, uh, will rely on uh, this uh, possibility. We have to, we have to emphasize that uh, Red Square screenings is, uh, is a project that is open uh, to, uh, uh, to many partnerships. And we already have a partnership with Kazakhstan and Ukraine because their films uh, are also presented uh, during the screenings. And I think that uh, if, uh, you know, if other uh, post-Soviet countries will, uh, for example, come uh, with uh, this initiative and will, uh, will will be willing to join it, we will only be happy because, uh, because we, we think that uh, you know, we shouldn't you know, make the division lines, we, we should unite uh, you know, our efforts and with those united efforts you know, it will be much easier to, uh, to achieve the goal of a wider international distribution of the films that we make. First of all, you have to find uh, a partner in Russia uh, because you need uh, a good uh, producer from the Russian side. And with this on board, uh, then you could uh, apply for uh, various uh, means of funding. You can apply for state funding, you can, uh, you can work on a pre-sale. Uh, basically, we are, uh, we are building uh, here a structure that is very similar to the structure how European films are financed. And I think that uh, you know, in a few years we will be able to achieve uh, a much bigger level of co-productions because we understand that we need it. It's a very important step that was already made and uh, we're very proud that we were able to uh, conclude uh, an agreement with uh, Marché du Film, Festival de Caen, uh, that 
became our core organizing partner. So the next uh, editions of the Red Square screenings will be already prepared as a collaboration between us and uh, Marché du Film. Uh, it means that uh, we will be able to attract uh, a very valuable expertise uh, in bringing the best uh, buyers and the most professional film industry uh, uh, members uh, to Russia. And it also means that we will be able to create a much more efficient and uh, uh, comfortable format uh, of presenting the films and of, uh, uh, of uh, bringing people together.